Hey guys, this is your Nintendo Switch Weekend Review where we'll cover all the new game releases and game announcements for this week. A quick note, as per request I will be adding gameplay of every game I mention on these weekly videos from now on. The only reason why I hadn't done it before was to avoid any sort of clamps or strikes on my account. So I'm going to be trying out a couple of different formats to show gameplay and until I find the proper one that works. So without further ado, let's get started. We saw 7 eShop releases this week, 6 of which are on the American eShop. Starting out with the weekly Neo Geo port. Fatal Fury Special for $7.99. This is a slightly beefier version of Fatal Fury 2, which boasts faster speed, combo attacks, and up to 15 fighters. The second game available on the eShop this week is The Mambo for $12.99. This game was already available on the Japanese eShop a couple of weeks ago. This is a local multiplayer up to 4 players 2D single screen combat brawler with many various stages. The third game available this week, which actually opens up a little bit of a trend, is I Am me for $9.99. This is a puzzle platformer where two cats jump around simultaneously and this game offers 92 different levels. Continuing on the puzzle game theme, Death Squared was released on the eShop for $14.99 where you can play with up to four players and compete in a small arena to complete the puzzles. The third puzzle style game that was released this week is Levels Plus for $6.99. This is a game where you slide and match panels with the same colors and numbers to level up. The sixth game released this week on the eShop is Physical Contact Speed for $4.99. This is a simple and more casual card game where if you run out of cards first, you win. The last game released this week is Super Ping Pong Trickster which is only available in the Japanese eShop for 700 yen which is a little bit north of $5. The main hook of this game is to throw a ping pong ball into a cup in a bunch of different varied stages. The game will also offer many varied challenges. Moving over to game announcements, we got confirmation that Night's Out from Second Studio is coming to the Switch. This is a strategic brawler that will feature online multiplayer castle building as you battle for resources to obtain weapons, reinforce your domain, and protect what's yours. Sword dueling. If your castle is in ruins, you can dust off your sword and put it all on the line in an epic duel. And of course, fashionable gear to level up and progress through the ranks. This news was followed by publisher Pladius confirming that they are working to release five Nintendo Switch games. The first one being Away journey to the unexpected it is a first person feel good adventure game that combines action negotiation and slightly roguish elements presented in an animated style where you progress through the levels in the story you choose your own path but above all recruit allies all the strange characters you meet in the game can be played in first person and it's up to you to find the right answers to get them to join your team next is balf or breaks are for losers this is a top-down single screen racing game created as a tribute to the good old racing games such as super sprint Indie Heat, and Super Off-Road. This game will feature 10 unique interactive tracks, 8 cars, local multiplayer with up 8 players, and car upgrades, and much, much more. The third game is Old School Musical. This is a retro rhythm game that will make you fall in love back with your childhood. Tim and Rob are the heroes of their epic and completely crazy adventure that will make them cross numerous worlds searching for the source of all bugs. This game will feature more than 20 levels, a story mode, hitting many games, and more. Followed by Hover, Revolt of Gamers. This is basically Jet Set Radio from the looks of it. It will feature a fast-paced single and multiplayer parkour game featuring a full open world, 10 players, characters to unlock various game modes and you can even create your own challenges the fifth and final game that Playdia has confirmed is coming to the switch is splasher this is a challenging 2d platformer filled with humor and surprises armed with a paint cannon you'll face the dangers of the Incorp mega factory in order to save your companions the splashers use different paint colors to stick to walls and roofs bounce high in the air and trick your opponents and put an end to the despicable projects of the evil boss then we got news from Jackbox Games that the Jackbox Party Pack 1 and 2 are making their way to the Switch. Each game features several party games like Fibbage XL, Drawful, Word Spun, Lice Water, Fibbage 2, Bid Idiot, Bomb Corp, Earwax, and much, much more. Next, we got confirmation from developer Arc System Works that Boost Beasts is coming to the Switch. This was originally a mobile game developed by the same guys who made Hey Pikmin. Boost Beasts is a block matching game where you line up up to three more blocks horizontally 
horizontally or vertically to clear and have all animals become your allies. This version of the game will actually include 200 different levels, where the mobile version only included 100. Next, developer Heads Up Games confirmed that Panzer Party is coming to the Switch. This game is an arcade two vehicle arena brawler suited for online and local multiplayer, boasting six game modes, nine vehicles split into three classes, water, ground, and air, and more than 20 equipable upgrades and pickups combined. And lastly, the big game announcement of this week is that 2K Sports confirmed that WWE 2K18 is coming to the Switch. The first thing that they clarified is that the game is not based on previous gen versions. Basically, it's not a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 port. The game will feature 8-man matches, a new grapple carrying system, new weight detection, thousands of new animations, a massive new backstage area, and a brand new rendering engine that will give WWE 2K18 a visual overhaul. That's all for the game announcements that we have to cover this week one thing that i do want to touch upon is that nico nico app was released in the switch on july 13th a couple of days ago basically the nico nico app is the equivalent of japan's youtube it's wildly popular and the majority of the videos there have english titles the nico nico app will be free and you can download it in any region as long as you have a japanese nintendo account that's all for this week thank you guys for watching and be sure to come back next week for another nintendo switch weekend review see ya